It's June 27th, 2021. It's been a really hot day here in Seattle, and it's going to be hotter tomorrow. Let's start the update with the rosemary that I transplanted a while ago. Um, looks like maybe some new groves are forming. Here's the raspberry. Here you can see the newer flowers are more pollinated. Um, the fruit looks a lot fuller. And I'll show you more examples. Here you can see the newer flowers seems to be more pollinated. And here's some of the new raspberry growth. Some leaves are drying up at the top. And here's the asparagus. Looks like the fruits or the seeds are still around. Still green though, so probably not ready to be harvested. And also we have the potato. You can see the potato are still growing. Mulberry is looking really sad. You can see all the leaves are dried up. And here's the grape. A lot of new growth. All of them are looking wilted because of the um, high temperature. And there's already some damage. As you can see, this leaf is dried up. And the vine seems to be climbing onto the trellis all right. That's good. Here's the blueberry. You can see the fruits are still maturing. They're all still green. Um, hopefully they'll turn blue pretty soon. And this part of the plants are already damaged by the heat. You can see the leaves has dried up. And here's the wildflower pot. You can see this uh, flowering plant is uh, pretty much uh, severely damaged. And all the wildflower seedlings are dead. The green onion is sending out more new leaves, as you can see. The rhubarb is not looking too good. You can see it's uh, wilting and there's some water accumulation issues. Here's the rosemary. Um, doesn't look too much like too much is going on. Here's the um, lavender. You can see the flowers have opened. Have not seen bees around though. I know bees like the lavender flowers. And here's the cat lily. Um, most of the flower have opened. You can see this one is completely opened. Um, there's not too much purple this year for some reason. The flowers has turned pretty much all yellow. And the pine tree is looking great. You can see a lot of new leaves forming. Peony looks pretty much the same. Not seeing too much new growth. Here's the dahlia. Right here you can see some damage already to the right. And to the left is this uh, new flower forming. You can see the flower bud. And yeah, this side is um, pretty damaged by the heat. Pineapple is looking about the same. Um, new leaves are still slowly forming, um, so that's a good sign. It's still growing. Other than that, the tip of the leaves are turning sort of red, probably because of the intense sun. Most of the spring bulbs have died back, so I have put them onto the shelf. 
The Dre Piasen, for example, is pretty much done dying back. Here's a few more bulb plants with the daffodil and hyacinth all ready to be put away. This is the summer snowflakes, it's also pretty much done. Um, in the backyard, these the hydrangea. You can see the hydrangea flowers are not withstanding too well in this heat, and they have started to wilt. Still really like the color though. This here seems like it's going to be sort of blue and purple-ish but all the flowers are looking very wilted and this one specifically has started to dry up. Here's some more flowers. This other variety is flowering um, slower. You can see some flowers have opened but most of the flowers in the center are still green and are not opened yet. As for the surface berry, some of the fruits are turning dark purple-ish, sort of like a blueberry color. I think it goes from um, green to red and then to this purple color. The new growth that formed on the Hoya plant um, a few weeks ago are still looking about the same. Like this one over here, you can see it's still about the same size. Re um, a regular new growth that produces a vine grows faster. So that's, that makes me feel like this is probably flowers. Here's the other one. The Venus flytrap is looking pretty sad actually. You can see the leaves are kind of elongated. I think it's uh, not enough sunlight. The um, Sweetheart Hoya is doing really well. You can see those two new set of leaves have formed um, and it's sending out this two new, two more sets of new leaves. Which is right here. You can see this two new sets of new leaves forming. The new Philanopsis um, is done flowering, so I cut off the flower spikes, and this new leaf is forming nicely. And here's the mini Oncidium. Um, most of the flowers are still around. And at the meantime, the plant is also sending out some new flower spikes, like this one over here. And here's another flower spike. The maiden hair fern is actively sending out new fronds. Here you can see a new one. Overall the plant is still actively growing, so definitely a good sign. You can see a few more new fronds forming from the bottom as well. The small pear plant is flowering. The wandering Jew is still very small. Um, don't know why it's not growing a lot. The arrowhead plant looks like it's doing pretty well sending out a lot more new leaves. And the other Philanopsis, um, you can see the flower spike is certainly getting longer now. And lastly, we have the Stackhorn Fern. The anther fronts are looking beautiful under the sunlight, and that new shield front is still tiny, still slowly forming and growing. 